What's up, YouTube? It's boy Loki. Now today is is a very good day. Very good day. Um, basically, uh, what I've seen um, is that on Twitter, uh, Charlie Intel put out some new stuff, and it's been confirmed. Activision confirmed Sledgehammer Games are developing the new Call of Duty for this year as it's been the three-year cycle. So, obviously, uh, starting with um, Sledgehammer, then with uh, Treyarch with Black Ops 3, and then uh, Infinity War with In Infinite Warfare. Now, the third one, obviously... not Sorry, not the third one. So, the first one was Advanced Warfare, which was the first jetpacking game that we saw. Um, I've... Highly, highly rated it. I think it was a really good game. You know, it, it felt smooth. It was, it was different. It was something different, which was always good. Ow, that was my foot. Um, so basically, then we went to Black Ops 3. Now, Black Ops 3 was also another good game that I thoroughly enjoyed and I played religiously. You know, it was a very, very good game. Zombies are back, which was obviously, you know, a big thing for, for zombie players to come in all the way through the Black Ops. Um, then you got IW. Now, IW is getting a really mixed review. Uh, obviously, some people like it, some people don't. It's a very Marmite game. Whether you love it or you hate it, it's really as simple as that. Um, but I'm bringing you some fantastic news. Now, we've been asking for this for two years now. So two years that we've been asking for this, and we finally get it. So, Stage Hammer tweeted this out. We're honoured and excited to bring this year's Call of Duty to fans everywhere. It's our biggest achievement as a game maker. Much more to come. So, Activision Blizzard's uh, CEO, this is what he said. And it's come from his mouth. So, in 2017, Activision will take Call of Duty back to its roots. A traditional combat will once again take centre stage. This is what our dedicated community of Call of Duty players and Sledgehammer games... Developing this year's title are most excited about. So, does that mean boots on ground? That's got to mean boots on ground. Really, really need to be boots on ground this year. Otherwise, having another jetpacking game will kill the franchise. People will still pay for it because it's Call of Duty. Call of Duty is one of the biggest brands, if not the biggest franchise in the world. Uh, they've been really taking over the gaming world for years and years and years. And... This time, they've got to do it right. They've really got to do it right. It's got to be boots on ground. You know, it's got to be, you know, they, they, you know, they, certain things like, for example, score streaks would be a thing. You know, that's that's part of of, of Call of Duty. Um, boots on ground is where it all started. You know, you had games like you had uh, Call of Duty uh, Two, Three, COD Four when it finally the real Call of Duty come out. Then you had um, World of War which is the World War II um, Call of Duty, which was a fantastic game. Uh, then you have Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. No, sorry. You, no, sorry. That's wrong. Call of Duty 4, World at War, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, 3, Black Ops 2. Anyway... It was still... They were all boots on ground all the way up to Advanced Warfare. Now, Advanced Warfare wasn't a bad game at all. It was a very successful game. It was, you know, it sold very well. They made millions off it for the supply drops, as a lot of Call of Duty's now seem to have. Um, but this game is, according to what I'm reading here, is going to be boots on ground. Now, boots on ground is a big, big game changer. It needs to happen. And it's if it's going to happen, and this is true, great. What we needed... We needed this to happen. Call of Duty, Activision, you are finally listening to off to the fans and the community. You know, the community are the most important because we buy your game year in, year out. And, you know, we play it excessively. So, you guys, you really need to bring stuff back. Um, obviously, if this year's boots on ground, then it's going to change the perspective of Call of Duty. I believe that going back... And doing um, boots on ground is not a bad thing at all. You know, you ventured into the future, how it's going to be with regards to um, the jetpacks and all the and all, and all the war running. Really, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I've never had an issue with that. It's just that 
you know, it, it got a bit repetitive and it, it kind of changed the face of Call of Duty. You know, a lot of people compared it to things like Titanfall. Um, obviously, you bring in energy weapons into the game, which, you know, is, is you know, is, is a good concept. And there was nothing wrong with it, but three years of it, it's got to be finished now. It's got to start going back to back to its roots, like it said there. I mean, there's nothing wrong with boots on ground. You know, this this game could potentially be the best game they've made. You know, my favourite Call of Duty is by far is COD Four, Black Ops Two, and NW Two and Three. So, uh, all of them were boots on ground because the game because the game was quite adaptive. You know, it was it it it, it kind of felt right. It felt nice to play. It was smooth. It was nice and good to you know. It just felt nice playing the boots on ground because. You know, you're not you're not 20 feet in the air from someone where you're on the floor. You're going to have a disadvantage from the get-go. If someone's 20 feet in the air, you're not going to have a chance. With that being said, Sledgehammer, if you smash us out of the park and make a boots on ground game, then you are going to change the face of Call of Duty and the game is going to change. Um, you know, we all know, obviously, if I, I watch competitive Call of Duty and I do follow quite a few big teams and... For example, last year, Black Ops 3. Um, obviously, I'm an Optic fan. And obviously, they got knocked out again. But when you sit back and you watch the game, it's kind of ridiculous in a way. But they're, you know, that's just that's a whole different game. Bottom line is, Activision have confirmed that they're taking it back to boots on ground. Um, not much more has been not more has been it's, uh, not been said. But it's Sledgehammer games that are going to be kicking this one into gear. So... Please, please make your boots on ground and it'll make the game much more fun. Um, obviously, if you let us know, uh, obviously, if you find out anything, please hit in the comment section below. Uh, obviously, it'd be always nice to always keep up the date on what's going on. Uh, I'll always keep my uh, my ear to the ground and find out, you know, what's going to be happening. Uh, and I'll be, obviously, you know, and I'll make a video on it and then we'll put it out to the public so everyone can see and obviously know and kind of keep up to date. If some people don't have, like, the facility to, to you know, to... to to go look him, they can just turn on YouTube, go to my channel, and they can see it. Um, apart from that, guys, I think that's really been the video. Um, obviously, I'm really excited to see what happens. So we'll see in the year uh, as we can draw, draw. If we draw closer to it, it'd be fantastic news. Um, if you did indeed like the video, please do not leave without leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. Um, and obviously, you know, any comments, feedbacks, please do put it in the in the comment section below. And obviously, I'll read through them and uh, let me know what's going on. Uh, until next time, guys, this has been your boy Loki, and I'll see you catch you on the video. Peace.